My name is Christopher. I have HSV2 down here. I want to talk today about how do you know if you have herpes? And the short answer is most people don't know. This is because most of us are not tested for herpes on STI panels. And the majority of us who think we've been tested for everything, herpes wasn't included. I wish they would have told us that, but for some reason they don't. Now, with that being said, not every single person is going to have outbreaks, whether ever or initially when they contract it, if they do. And that goes for up here, that goes for down here. The other thing is that you don't necessarily have a severe first outbreak. Some people do, but some people also have symptoms that are so mild, they don't actually really notice. And if you don't know that you have herpes and think you're negative, you're not going to suspect like, that little sort of, you know, bump or redness or irritation down there, whilst probably different than a ingrown hair or something, could be herpes. Also up here, like maybe you just don't even realize that cold sores are herpes. Maybe you've had a cold sore in your life. That in fact is herpes. And if you were to test for that, you probably would show up positive. The next thing is that blood testing is not always accurate and they don't like to test you unless you have symptoms. So the people who get noticeable symptoms that make them go to the doctor, they're pretty aware that they have herpes and they can do a swab test and have a good answer. But when it comes to blood testing, there's issues with false positives and false negatives and timing around the blood testing. So even if you do go do a blood test, your results could be a false positive. So you think you have herpes, but you actually don't, or you think it shows up negative, but you actually do. I wish there was a better testing, but for some reason, there's no priority on bringing accurate blood testing to the general population. Now, there is a Western blot blood test. That is a definitive way to get a result if you don't have symptoms, but for some reason, it's only offered at one place. So at the end of the day, most of us don't know our herpes status, and the people who do get symptoms that are noticeable enough to actually go and check. But the bad part is that the people who know they have symptoms and disclose get the most flack when everyone else is just sort of living ignorance is bliss. So how do you know? You don't really know. The risk of contracting herpes here or there is always there. You may never get it though. Love you, miss you, hope you're doing well. Extra help in the description box. See you next time. My name is Christopher. I have HSV2 down here. I want to talk today about where can herpes show up on the body. Now, whether it's HSV1 or HSV2, they're not necessarily exclusively going to be in the location that we all think of. So HSV2 down there most of the time can show up on different parts of your boxer shorts area, front or back. So pubic area, upper thigh, on your actual genitals, kind of like lower down. Also on the back side, you can have it. So maybe on your gluteal cleft, so like the plumber's crack, or on your anus or on your butt cheeks and stuff. So why I bring this up is because you could have contracted genital herpes through regular vaginal sex, whether you're a guy or a girl, and then not have outbreaks on the places that you would suspect. So maybe you get it on your butt or maybe you get it on your thigh. And the majority of us who get symptoms there would probably be like, well, how could this be herpes? It seems so minor. It's not even on my genitals. Why would it be herpes? And because we don't have that negative test result from STI panels, we wouldn't suspect it's herpes. So keep this in mind when it comes to genital infections. It could show up in like the boxer shorts area. Personally for me, on my pubic area. I'm sure a guy out there gets the same kind of outbreaks as I do and just thinks it's an ingrown hair periodically, not knowing that maybe he had sex during his outbreak one day and knowingly passed it on because he had an outbreak. The other thing up here, if you have it up here, you could get symptoms in your nose. A lot of people get like cold sores in their nose or it can go to their eye and they can get eye herpes. And there's also other situations where like HSV1 can show up on different parts of your body in your finger, that's herpetic whitlow. And it can also show up like on your face or general parts of your body, uh, which is known as like mat herpes, herpes gladiatorum, which is common among wrestlers. So herpes can show up in all different locations. Like I specified in the video, not everywhere, but keep this in mind if you're wondering like suspicious symptoms, not necessarily where you think you should have an outbreak. If you have any suspicious symptoms, go to the doctor, get it swabbed. That's the best way to find out. Extra help in the description box. Love you. Miss you. Hope you're doing well. See you guys next time.